Hello everyone, this is DET35 and we are playing Sonic Adventure. This is the final part for Sonic Story. We're going into the Lost World. It's It has one of my favorite tracks. This first track right here. I really like it. It gives me that Indiana Jones feel. As for the level itself, it has some good parts, it has some bad parts. Most of the good stuff is in the beginning, though. The, this part right here is not one of them. I don't... It can be hard to navigate. Especially with those flame pillars coming up. But this part right here I like. I like the tunnel. I wish this was on the 3DS. This would be awesome to see. Lots of serpents. I don't think they're snakes, I think they're serpents, but yeah. Uh, this part can cause trouble for the camera, and it's very slow and kind of boring. There are three switches you have to press, so if you're really good and confident, you can basically do shortcuts using a spin dash jump, but I'm not that good, so I don't do it. And that's my cat. It's more, she craves attention a lot. Yeah, I thought I could uh, take a shortcut here, but I decided not to. That's why it took so long. And this goes without saying, but yeah, you also have to sign with Tango so you raise the water level up so that way you can get the switches. Now, I have never fallen off of the serpent, so I don't know what happens. I don't know if you can get back up, but I don't, but I don't want to find out. Now, I have tried to push the switch and get back on the serpent, but the cutscene takes so long and the game is still moving while you're doing it, so it's really hard to do. Now, at this point, I'm just waiting for the serpent to come around. This part can be rather tedious. Now here we have this place. I like this scene right here where you basically can see a lot of greenery. Even though that looks really... Oh, I think I saw like a... Okay, I don't... Yeah, okay, first of all, that scenic view looked really bad now. It looks really bad. They didn't really up it at all. And then there was also like a part of the level that was gray. So yeah. Not the most polished part, but I like it anyway. Please ignore my cat if you hear her. But I like this place for placing light and refle reflecting light off the giant mirrors and make it visible. I like that neat idea. Now this part can be tricky if you have a electric shield, that light ring dash, that ring dash spot. Now we have an Indiana Jones reference. Not unlike the killer whale part, but a little bit more linear. It's fun to watch. I can see that. 
Now this part can be entertaining if you don't screw up. But I do screw up, and I cut out those parts. Use the switch to light up the wall panels. You can walk on those panels when lit. You notice how Sonic's head tracks the glowing ball? That That's actually a nice touch of detail. It's like what they did in Wind Waker with Link's eyes. Now, unfortunately, I haven't played this level in a while. Which is why I'm it's not used to the uh, controls. Or the way they or the way these panels work. So I fall off right here. The red enemy kills me. And so I kill myself and start up here. Yeah. Mess up quite a few times when I get back up there too. Really annoying. Hmm? But thank goodness at this point you, they have not introduced Grays to the Sonic series, so it's just really completing the objective. One final light speed dash, and we are at the end of the level. Not bad. Wow, what's this? A mural. What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! Alright, now we are chasing after Eggman. With the final stage, too. I wish I got a scenic view of his base there, but I'll try again with another character. Now there's some nice easter eggs in this base, too. You can see Silver Sonic... And my video's lagging, but hold on. Okay, yeah, there's Silver Sonic. And then there's Metal Sonic. Nice easter egg. Wish they were bosses, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Now I have completely forgotten how this puzzle works, so I just basically randomly press buttons until I get it right. So yeah. Just a little pressing buttons, <clears throat> trying to guess, guess, and 
hopefully get it right. And there we go. Yeah, I got it eventually. Final egg. And this level is, well, very platform heavy. In the beginning, it's a lot of running. You have a little bit of space to work with here. And actually, this place, this uh, wide open space you have right here in front of you, is actually much better suited to Sonic's fast running style since being in 3D are less precise than in 2D. And it's something I wish they'd tackle in future games. But yeah, moving on from that. Now we are basically in the platform territory. A lot of 3D Sonic levels are not really running fast with 3D platforming, which is what Sonic, the 2D Sonic's worth, 2D platformers. The thing is, Sonic Team, or I guess everyone is bonded to the fact that Sonic was about speed when if you play the old games, they're not really about speed. Speed was a factor, but it wasn't the main thing. You could go fast, but that was earned by maintaining your momentum. It was really a platform at heart. And I think that... I think that this game mostly keeps to what the 2D games were, and they were platformers. And this game is, in fact, a platformer. The most recent Sonic games are not. They are more like racing games, only you're just... Only there's like no one you're racing against, it's just you racing against a clock. Not to say they aren't good, but yeah, they're, they're not really platformers in that way. Which is why I think a lot of people want a Sonic Adventure game because it's more of a platformer. And I agree with them. And camera gets some trolls here, but I just switch first person. Fixes it easily. Now, it could use without these slow parts right here, where you're just waiting for stuff to, to pass by. It could do without that. Now, more faster paced platforming is better, in my opinion. And I'll think of an example of that. Places where you're not stopping. That's what I'm talking about. You're constantly moving, but you still have to use skill to navigate the area. Any part where you have to stop, like right here, is not good. You should always be constantly moving. Or actually, the hammer spot was more of a better example. That's what I like. And when I commentate over Sonic Adventure 2, I'll explain why I think the Sonic levels in this game are a lot better. In my opinion. But for right now, they are more open. And reward exploration. Not that the ones in Sonic Adventure 2 don't, but in this game more so. Probably because they had to design the game around six characters. So, it actually kind of helped in that sense. Well, actually, hold on. Certain areas were designed for multiple characters. That's much better. That's much better. Now, you can do the light speed dash part here, but that takes too much time, and rendering this file in FLV takes a lot of time. Yeah, I rendered these videos up, oh, and I died there. Yeah. Stupid me. But anyway, yeah. I rendered these videos in FLV. The reason is because it takes a lot less time to upload. It did take me an hour to render an episode, but it only takes like 15 minutes to upload it. And I think that was an okay trade-off. Every other format I tried took like a really long time to render and a really long time to upload. And I use uh, Adobe Premiere. Elements 10. I use Adobe Premiere Elements 10. If anyone has any other tips on good ways to render my videos and stuff, uh, please leave a suggestion. I'm open to suggestions. Now this part is a pain in the ass because you don't know where you're going. I completely bypassed all the spike balls and chains that were down there. 
I'm, I'm fortunate enough that I didn't get hit. And this would also be a good spot in 3D. Why is it Sonic Adventure on the, on the 3DS? I buy that. Now I'm just gonna skip those guys. And I like that. See, I'm using the spin dash jump to get to high places, rewarding you for exploration. Even in his later levels, there are still some areas that are pretty good at making you explore. Yes. Now on to the final boss. Yeah, not bad. Well, if it isn't my pal, Sonic, I'm surprised you made it this far. Hold it right there, Eggman! As to why that rocket was there, I have no idea, but whatever. Egg Viper! It's a pretty simple boss, it just takes a really long time to kill because, again, it's very scripted, kind of. There are no shortcuts to defeating this boss, as far as I know. You just have to wait for him to do stuff, attack him, and then dodge the next set of attacks, and then wash, wrench, repeat. Get a load of this. Yeah. My video is lagging for some reason. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Get a load of this. Oh yeah, and Eggman repeating get a little of this. I don't think it's a meme, but it's certainly a phrase that is remembered throughout the Sonic fandom. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. I like the voice actor who plays Eggman in this game. Too bad he passed away. I would have loved to see him more stuff. Get a load of this. I have no idea what his name is, by the way. I don't know the names of anyone who plays these characters, really. I'm not really a guy who goes out of his way to recognize voice actors. I just appreciate the voice. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Is that making a bad person? I don't know. Get a load of this. Get a load of this! <laughs> it's no, no way! I can't... Ah. At least he changes it up towards the end. All systems, full power! You know, it makes you wonder why he doesn't do that to the other road, too. Oh well. Video game logic. <laughs> It's no use. Give up. Ah. What is he doing there anyway? Like when he's up flashing himself at the co out of the cockpit, he's like moving his arms in this weird way. I don't know what he's doing. He's not gonna get away with this. Ah. It's no use. Give up. No. And that was I can't it. Believe this. Now I'm still not sure what happens to this part. I heard he goes to the one next to you, or he goes to the one is at you. Something? I don't know how this works. I just guess and hope that I'm right. And I was right.
And that is Sonic's story. And yeah, that's the end of it right now. Next is Tails' story. But this one, I really like Sonic's story in this game. It's fun platforming. I like, I pretty much like all the levels. There's no level I dislike in this run. So yeah, and we're going to see. It doesn't matter. Or listen to. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Next time you see me, we'll be ta playing Tails. See you guys. Oh, you're